nice return of fish we've got going in here. Hey everybody, we're here at Arlington on the Stillaguamish River and today is another WashingtonLakes.com river float. In the single pontoon we have Gringo Pescador. Every time I go fishing with Gringo he seems to catch something so <laughs> I figure he's going to outfish me today. In the drift boat we have Zach, Brianna and Brianna's boyfriend Cody. Two guides in one drift boat. It's not even fair. They're going to outfish us all. In the double pontoon, the amateurs, myself and my friend Robbie from work. We won't even know if we have a fish on. But hey, it's a good day to go fishing. First day on the still Guamish that's open for steelhead, so let's go fish. We started our drift with a forecast of rising waters and the potential for a flood, but that wasn't to deter us on this first day of steelhead fishing on the Stillaguamish River. As you can see, the river is high and muddy, definitely not optimal conditions for catching steelhead. The Stillaguamish between Arlington and the I-5 bridge has one tricky area called the Rock Gardens. Gringo! The water is coming up as we're sitting here fishing. Yep, we're watching it. We're, um, we're in the midst of a flood. <laughs> we hit the launch at 6 a.m. It's about 11.30 now and the water's come up four feet. <laughs> what are you going to do? That's fishing. Yep, yep.
We made it. We survived. <laughs> Hey, Zach, we lived to fish another day. Barely. 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 <laughs> Fun stuff. You gotta give it a shot. Yeah, you gotta give it a try sometimes. By the time we reached the takeout, the river had come up a good four feet and there were no steelhead to be had. Just the same, it was a good drift and it was fun to see yet another one of Washington's amazing rivers.